Well, good Monday morning. It is day, I have lost count of this quarantine business. The only way that I know it's Monday is they told me it was on the news. Otherwise, I don't know. I can't keep up anymore. Um, we wanted to come to you this morning. One thing that I have seen on Facebook is people asking for drills that they can do with their horses other than barrel work to help them on their pattern. And I've seen a lot of people comment about particular drills, but I haven't necessarily seen a lot of videos. So we wanted to come up here on this beautiful day in Texas and show you a drill that we use with our horses from kind of beginning horses to even our finished horses. And so um, we will be right back and show you the drill that we are going to use today. You know, a lot of people tend to think that there are only two parts to barrel racing. There's the running and there's the turning. But they're forgetting a very vital part of the barrel racing, and that is transition. You transition from running in a straight line to getting into that turn. And the drill that we're going to show you today will help you with your horse to be more efficient in making those transition moves into the barrel pattern. I want to introduce y'all to Bigsby. I would say that this is Hope is Hope's little sister, but since she's pretty much the same size as Hope, I'm gonna have to say that this is just Hope's sis younger sister. And so Bigsby is a three-year-old and she is sired by Ain't Seen Nothing Yet and out of a mare called Bully Kate. I started her back in uh, her two-year-old year. She was broke 60 days with Jason Barons, and I've had her since that time. We gave her a little time off over the winter to grow up and fill out, and boy, did she ever. So we're excited to get back on Bixby and start getting her back into working shape to get ready for the exhibitions when we can hopefully get them done. But she will be making her, her debut at the, uh, those early fraternities, hopefully. So we'll be right back in just a minute with the rest of the drill. This is our six barrel exercise. And so we have six barrels set up in a pretty good sized circle, tire in the middle. And if you really see Jennifer, what she's working on is really pushing those shoulders like out from that turn. There's gonna be times in that turn where you need some them to be a little bit bigger. And then there's gonna be times when you really need to tighten. And so we're working on the bigger part, taking that inside rein, pushing it up against that neck. It's a little bit like pole bending in that you're wanting to cross over in the middle between the two barrels. That gets to be really important to uh, cross over in the middle between the two barrels and just, you know, to change it up. She can go around the barrel, trying to keep Bixby rounder, fluid, pushing on her feet. Some horses, they have been stopped so much and backed up that when they feel the bit work, they want to quit moving those feet. But the barrel horse has to keep moving their feet even though the bit is working in the mouth. And that is such a big piece of information for people who, you know, want to take their young horses to a reiner because they work on that big stop. It's like, oh, we never want to stop till we cross the finish line. And so they get, they get those back feet up under them too much when they feel that bit move and they're, they quit pushing on their feet. So you can like full turn, kind of keep going the same way. You can half turn, that's a reverse. But it kind of always keeps that horse listening to you. And so for the older horses, it makes them not look so much at the barrel and pay attention more to the rider because sometimes those horses think ahead of you and they're raiding halfway across the pen so see she's going to go to the barrel you know she passes it up she get or she gets really big so that he keep she keeps pushing on her feet but the horse themselves don't really know what's fixing to happen so they have to get really tuned into the rider and so the barrel racing starts from the inside of the pattern turning to the outside of the pattern. And so this is all right-handed turns. This would be all first barrels for a right-handed horse. 
And this is a big physicality thing too, to get Bixby back in shape and get her some air. Loping, loping this whole thing. If you, if you can work them up to two times of loping all six barrels, that'd be 12 barrels with a right-handed turn. Still kind of working on keeping, Jennifer keeping her hands up a little bit, really kind of pushing on that neck and keeping that turn round and fluid. So now she's going to go all left-handed turns. This is really good for young horses because the first thing we really want our young horses to learn is always push on your feet. No matter what the bit is doing, never quit pushing on your feet. And so Bixby, she's, she's done this before because we start a lot of our young horses right here because it's not about the barrel pattern, so to speak. It's about the movement, getting that movement in and teaching them how to use their feet you know, how to let the bit work, but them continue to push on their feet, how to arc their body, how to yield their shoulders. So that was a good work. I mean, everything's solid and smooth. Well, this is a four-year-old this year, and his bar name is Bo but he's a streak of fleeing, an onset of streak of fleeing, and he's out of a three-quarter sister to baby flow. And so he's a, he's a real athletic little powerhouse of a guy. And, you know, drills like this really kind of help keep some of that power in a smoother place because if you get that power in an explosive place, it can be a, oh my goodness. And so we've always said, smoother is faster. And so even in this kind of little slow work or this little dry work right here, you know, Jennifer's gonna really work to keep him fluid, gonna do all left-handed turns. There's gonna be 12 of them. And so in this, we're working on several things. One is his just being fluid. You know, he's pushing on his feet, but he's not trying to get in front of the bridle. He's, he's staying in her hands. He's driving through the back of that turn really nice, using himself really nice. But he's not trying to get in front of that bit that's in his mouth. You know, drive his use his power to drive himself past that bit. Then that's when you have to really get a hold of the reins and really try to get them back under control. So this is a really nice, nice colt, very athletic. And the, the way he is mentally, really, he, he could be a fool or he could just be the nicest horse anybody would ever want to have. And so we're working real hard for him to be that nice, quiet kind of guy where he enjoys it and the rider enjoys it. So you see a lot of these talented horses not make it because people drive them past that bid and get them explosive with all that power and that talent. But the first thing that has to happen is you have to be in control of it. And so this is one thing that really helps him, you know, learn to work with his rider at this point, it's Jennifer, but you know he will go on to uh, probably have an owner that really hauls him and rodeos on him. So he has a nice long career, but it, he's different than Bigsby. So you get kind of get to see the contrast between two really very talented horses. To me, he looks really strong, but he's a year older, too, than Bixby. Bixby's three, and he's four. 
So kind of, do you see, you, you take that straight line and then you work on that transition until those feet cross over, those back feet. You see him that turn step from behind. It's him you're learning to use that rudder, that inside back foot going under and across and in front of the outside foot. And that's really what turns him. And that's what really makes that, that stride and that cadence, you know, that, that tempo that she's working on right there. If something happens and uh, you kind of have to go back and really work on him some to get, get him back to a place, that's where we'll all go back to this because that was really good. Well, we've shown you two different horses doing the six barrels, Bigsby and Bo, and they both have a lot, their styles are very different out there uh, in the arena when it comes to the barrel pattern. So hopefully that'll give you a good mental image of, of your horse on the six barrels. We like to keep those circles around those six barrels big and loose and easy. Uh, we want to, that to just really encourage that forward motion. And so we want to keep bringing you these videos and so the way that we know that you're engaged and you're liking this is that you subscribe to our channel, hit that like button, and that no ding that notification bell so that you can be notified when we post new videos. Because we're going to keep coming with more videos of more drills and, and different uh, aspects of barrel racing to help you and your horse become a better team and a better barrel racer. Y'all have a great day.